Dan saudara rekan saya Aiman Wicaksono berkesempatan wawancara secara eksklusif CEO dari Airbus di Perancis dan kita akan lihat bagaimana dan kenapa Airbus menjadikan Indonesia sebagai salah satu tumpuan industrinya. Kita lihat wawancaranya. Saudara di sela-sela ada acara di Toulouse salah satu pusat pabrik pesawat Airbus. Saya berkesempatan untuk wawancara dengan presiden CEO dari Airbus International. Good afternoon, Mr. Fabrice Garcia. Thank you for doing this. Uh, Mr. Fabrice, as we know, for several years, Airbus, the leading aircraft manufacturer, how does Airbus see the aircraft business in the world? This is a very uh, promising business because our growth depends on the growth of uh, the world GDP. and. Uh, Uh, actually, when you look at the growth in Asia, we have uh, growth in uh, air transport, which are much higher than 10% year on year. So now Asia accounts for about 35% of our order book in our business. Let's localize the topic. How do you and Airbus see Indonesia? Indonesia is the fourth biggest country in the world, 250 million uh, inhabitants. And there is a huge potential for two reasons. First of all, only 15% of the population so far has flown in an aircraft. And second, when you look at the geography and the economic growth of the country, aircraft are ideal to connect people if in Indonesia and from Indonesia to the rest of Asia. Indonesia also grows the business of budget airline rapidly. Of course, it is uh, created for aircraft manufacturer like Airbus. But the question is, how can Airbus drive your business to it? Well, you know, uh, not only uh, we sell aircraft, but we support uh, the partners and the airlines. We support them in training, in safety, in maintenance. and. Uh, We are well known uh, to be a very long-term partner. And this is, I believe, what makes us successful in Asia when uh, personal relationship counts more than in other parts of the world. Is there any changing of behavior of the passengers? The passengers, you have two categories. You have uh, the premium passengers looking for comfort, uh, and you have now a new category of people who want to travel at the lowest possible fare. So the low-cost carriers, uh, like Lion Group, are for me uh, very successful because they manage to bring uh, to the air people who never flew. And uh, this is for them more economical than uh, taking uh, the bus in many parts of the world. I saw that Airbus has also cooperated with the Indonesian aircraft manufacturer, PTDI, with CN235. What's the main purpose of this cooperation? This is a long-time partner, and uh, uh, we are also in the group uh, developing and uh, producing uh, military transport aircraft. Uh, this is our Spanish activities, and we are very pleased to be a partner of PTDI, and uh, we have a lot of projects with them. Okay. What does Airbus see this Indonesian manufacturer in the future, 10 years from now, for example? There is a, a big potential uh, for because? because, first of all, you have this aerospace uh, culture, and second, you have engineers of very high quality and uh, uh, which are very cost efficient. So uh, I believe uh, that uh, uh, in a few years, in 10 years from now, UTDI will be a top class partner of uh, companies like Airbus. As we know, President Jokowi, our president, has a plan to utilize unmanned aircraft system, or let's say those are drones, to be a spy of the Indonesian seas. How can this kind of aircraft keep that plan? This is different from our business, and uh, we still need pilots on board, even if uh, our aircraft are largely automated. Uh, regarding the unmanned air vehicle, this is uh, uh, more on the safety or military side, and uh, this is uh, from other divisions of the group. But we have the skills internally, and I believe your president is right. For these activities, this is uh, the uh, equipment of choice. Let's, uh, we see also a tragedy of Malaysia airline MH370. In lay opinion, lie a concern about safety uh, aircraft system with a very sophisticated technology still can be missed for several months without any clues from the system. 
is that uh, drive your business to uh, to that tragedy? Well, our priority everywhere when we develop aircraft is safety. And we have a safety track record, which is fantastic. In these cases, what industry, airlines, governments have to do is to draw the lessons and look for solutions which would, in any case, give the location of the aircraft. So technologies are evolving and are taking uh, the information of uh, all uh, these cases uh, to make sure that we will uh, be in a position to locate the aircraft anytime. Well, thank you very much for the, this interview, Mr. Brash, Fabrice Brashier. It's a thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank you. Dan suara itulah wawancara saya dengan Presiden CEO Airbus International, Fabrice Brashier, yang bermarkas uh, di kota Toulouse, Perancis.